So, my wife and I found out last night that we're having a kid, a second one. We're a little bit nervous. As of right now, we went to the doctor this morning. Hey, let me, let me restart. We go to the doctor this morning. We were supposed to go to a fertility specialist today. That's been the plan for the past two months, about a month and a half at least since we got our appointment. Last night, she goes, well, just to make sure that we're doing this appointment tomorrow for the right reasons, let me just take a pregnancy test. Come to find out, we're having a kid. We're four weeks into it, five weeks into it right now. And we've got eight months, nine months to go. It's been six years since we've been in this situation. We've been trying for the past three years to have a second kid. And there's there's been issues the entire time due to just different factors. When we had Roxy five years ago, she came out great, no issues during the pregnancy, no issues you know, before leading up to it or anything like that. And she was born three days before my birthday, September 2nd. Uh, her, that's her birthday, mine's September 5th. On September 5th in 2012, Ashley woke me up at about 11.30, never went to bed, just in excruciating pain. We ended up, after about 30 minutes, we got a three-year-old, a three-day-old baby. This was day one that we'd actually been home. Uh, so we've been in the hospital for a couple days, you know, as normal procedure and whatnot. And day one at our own house, well, we were living in an apartment there then in Greenfield, we had to take her to the emergency room, Ashley, to the emergency room that night. It was right at midnight. I, I'd already been asleep. Ashley's screaming, crying. Uh, Roxy now is waking up after being asleep for maybe 45 minutes and has a blowout. Gone. Dad, first time dad, not having any experience with babies at this point, has to clean a shitty diaper. A bad diaper. It's terrible, rough, worse, <laughs> done. Anyways, in the midst of Ashley going through her stuff, I am cleaning out the worst diaper to date that I've ever cleaned off of a human, and I end up getting sick. I don't get sick. I'm getting sick, I'm, you know, one of those deals. So, after dealing with myself, a baby who's destroyed, probably an entire outfit by now, and a wife who can't move, is screaming, is in terrible pain, I said, hell with it. We're going to the emergency room, let's roll. I get Ashley into the car, get Roxy into the car, go call the emergency room on the way, I said, hey, I've got a three-day-old baby, I got a wife, who is in terrible pain. I'm dropping her off at the emergency room. I need somebody to come out here and be with the baby during this. We get everybody inside. They've got Ashley in a wheelchair. I get the car parked. Uh, they've got control of the baby. The same hospital that we've been at three days, well, right now, less than 24 hours before. And we are going back for round two. This is about I would say close to 12.30 in the morning on now September, I think, I'm pretty sure it was September 6th now. Um, we ended up, Ashley, Ashley, I don't need to say we, it was all, it was all her. She uh, ended up going through emergency surgery. She had to have an ovary removed. So knowing that the possibilities of having a second kid were cut in half right then, Kill me, kill her, it sucked. Sorry.
having one kid was awesome. Definitely the best thing that ever happened to me. At that point in my life, I was 23 years old. Uh, getting ready to be, well, I, just, I had just turned 24 that day. And I was in a bad spot in my, my life personally. Uh, you know, having Roxy unexpected. <laughs> changed my life. Ch changed my life good. I was just in a bad spot. I'm, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I'm an emotional person. <laughs> when it comes to family, when it comes to my friends, I don't. I don't know where I'd be today, right now, if it wasn't for having that kid unexpectedly. Little, sh she's. <laughs> The greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Gosh. I. She drives me nuts. I'll tell you. But she lights up my world every day. She can be so pissed off in the mornings or at night when she's trying to wake up or go to bed. But it's all worth it. She's mad at me. Oh gosh get mad at me over anything but it's all right it's all right but now for the past ever since she's man Roxy's been little she's wanted a little brother a little sister we haven't been able to do that it just hasn't been possible but times are changing and no more little plastic baby dolls. There'll be more, but hopefully not a hundred of them anymore. We have, we'll have a real deal. She's gonna be a little sister, a big sister, and gonna be a game changer. I can't wait for it. I know Ash is excited. This video probably won't be ever posted, and if it is, it'll probably be at least a month from now not longer it might be it might be after the new baby's born we had our first doctor's appointment today we were like i said let's go to the fertility doctor called them well when we found out it was like nine o'clock last night and i was literally taking a sh and ashley said knocked on the door hey we don't need to go to the doctor tomorrow we have to go to a different appointment Holy sh! <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Uh, so we called this morning, canceled one appointment, set another appointment, bing, bang, boom. Have another kid in about nine months. Be a dad again. Whenever we go start going to theme parks, there won't be one of us sitting alone. We're having another kid. <laughs> Love you guys. Okay, so some of you probably aren't gonna appreciate this and I don't really care. Don't really care at all. Um, so I'm sorry to be back in front of the camera, for starters. But within those three years of pretty much saying, man, we're not ever gonna have kids, but another kid at least, um, there's been prayers from church, prayers from people who are some of our best friends, friends that we don't even know that are our parents' friends, there have been, you know, just 
positive vibes, thoughts, and, and everything coming from people who don't believe in God, people who, you know, think God is out to get them or whatever kind of bullshit there is there. I don't care. Um, I mean, God, I mean, we're friends. And, you know, he knows I've screwed up. I know I screw up. He's blessed us with another thing, though, that I didn't get from anywhere else. You know, we, we, we thought we were done with kids. I was, I had told, I don't know if I ever told Ashley, probably should have. I know I told some friends here and there and everywhere that, you know, within, if, if we weren't able to have a kid in the next year, probably gonna happen. It's old boy here. And now it's gonna happen within the next year. I mean, they gone. Um, but miracles happen. We're about to have living proof of it. We're not the only ones. Uh, there's gonna be. Well, Roxy doesn't know she's gonna be an aunt yet. I mean, a cousin. She's gonna have a cousin. Not an aunt. My sister's having a kid. Probably right around the same time we are. We just found out. Today is Thursday, March 22nd. Ashley's birthday was yesterday. The day we found out. We found out, that was Wednesday, uh, we found out on March 19th that my sister's having a baby, her and her husband, Jacob. And Roxy doesn't know that yet. So, in a matter of three days, my parents are about to get a shocker in about nine months. Don't know how close the two will be. My brother doesn't know yet on either of them. My mom and dad know about ours and my sisters. Ashley's mom and dad know about ours. And it's about to be a game changer. It's about the rule of the city. You think that I'm a little bit nuts now? You haven't seen nothing yet. Hey, I'll see you on the flip side.